This is a quick tutorial intended to give you basic concept of reading drawings as well as locating and staging material for column and girt erection. Note, drawing details and formats may differ from project to project and from metal building system manufacturer to manufacturer. Staging all necessary materials where they can be quickly and conveniently located during erection is critical for safe and cost effective construction. Being able to read erection drawings and locate the correct material is a necessary skill. Let's start with columns because that is the most logical first step. Let's begin by looking at the metal building manufacturer's drawings. This manufacturer has their drawing index at the top of the cover page. Columns will definitely be part of the primary structure shown on sheets 5 through 20, sheets 5 through 21. To make it simpler, let's zoom in and focus on the small area, the bay between column 10 and 11 on line A. On a side note, as you can see by the X's caused by the rod bracing, this is a brace bay. Here you see two column piece marks, CX006 and CX008. As you can see, from the sticker on the base plate provided by the manufacturer, this is column CX006. If you look here, you can see that the slab has been marked with the correct column piece mark to prevent confusion and to aid in efficiency. Let's look back at the label on the bottom of the column for a minute. Do you see this QR code? That, that more than likely means that this manufacturer has a material location app. Assuming the QR code was scanned when the column was unloaded or moved, you can now type in the part number and use your phone as a tracking device to find the last location the material was scanned. It is also possible that you could use the app to find the material location on this model using the piece number. It is common for brace base to have a structural member between the columns. This manufacturer refers to it as a support beam, but is commonly referred to as a strut brace. We can see from the drawing that we are looking for piece mark SBX001. Looking back at our magnified section of the drawing, there are two square boxes with the number two in them. Let's zoom back out to, out to the full drawing and see if we can figure out what the number twos in squares stand for. Shapes with numbers in them are a common way manufacturers use to let you know there is more information to be found on the sheet. In this case, it is a square, but octagons and diamonds are also very common. There's a chart in the upper right hand corner. If we zoom back in, we can see the square symbol indicating that we are looking at the correct chart. Let's take a look at number two. Apparently this strut brace will require a quantity of six grade A325 bolts, three quarters inch diameter, and two and a half inches long. The information needed to identify the bolt should be on the keg or bolt container, but it does not hurt to double check. The bolt grade is on the head the length is measured from the end of the bolt to the bottom of the head, and the diameter, well, diameter, well, that's the diameter. Column flange braces bolt from the flange of the column to the wall girds. Let's zoom back out to the primary structural drawing. Zooming back in, you see two column flange brace piece marks. That number two in parentheses means that you will need to find two braces for each piece mark shown. Also, you can see we have found piece mark 12 MD 04042. This has L10 for line 10 has been added in black marker by one of the team members for quick efficient reference during construction. Brace rods or X braces provide a large portion of the structural stability for metal building systems. Here we find piece mark 
RT3701 on the drawings and on the drawings. And here it is in the laydown yard. This is the hillside washer and nut of an installed brace rod. Wall girts tie the columns together horizontally and are usually but not always Z-shaped. If you look at the drawing index, they will be found on the secondary structural drawings. Let's say we are looking for girt G24. Girts often have their numbers laser printed on them in addition to the stickers we have been seeing. The word flip on this drawing indicates that this girt is to be installed in an orientation opposite typical. Eave struts are the secondary members where the roof and wall meet. They will be located in a similar method to the one you use to locate the girts.